What's up, everybody? My name is Maggie for the win, and welcome back to Subnautica. In the last video, we almost made it off of the planet. We were almost saved, but then the building that we found at the landing site decided to be a big douche nozzle and shoot our only means of escape out of the sky. So at this point, I have no idea what to do. I'm waiting for, I'm just hoping that I get a radio call or something to help me out here. Otherwise, the only thing I know what to do is just to keep exploring, keep going deeper. I don't, uh, should be obvious, but yeah, I, I don't know what to do. That was the only, in, like, <laughs> since the beginning of the game, that was the only thing I was basically working towards was finding a way off the planet, but I guess we're stuck here. I'll never watch Netflix again. There's no Hulu. There's no Disney Plus. No, no, not Disney Plus. I'm going to miss Hannah Montana and my Lilo and Stitch movies and Moana and Frozen. And God. All right, that's enough complaining. So let's see if the radio's got anything for us. I don't think it does. Thanks, radio. Completely unhelpful. But we can go ahead and grab the sea moth since we left it here like a big goof. I was a big goof. You guys weren't big goofs. It was me. I was I was the big goof. So where is my peacemaker? Is it all the way over there? Okay. Let's go get the peacemaker. And I guess... I don't know. Maybe, we'll, you know what? Let's just pick a direction, head that way, see what we find, right? That's what we were doing before. We even knew the sunbeam was coming to pick us up. That's all we gotta do. I wonder though, I wonder if the radiation is not a problem anymore. So if I... Oh, I don't even have my radiation helmet on. So the radiation is gone! <laughs> Yay! I can swim without turning into a mutant. I won't be a half gasopod, half Maddie. That's good news. Oop! I glitched through the door. Whoopsies! Sorry. <laughs> Just love the way you call me Captain Atlas. I just love it. Love the way you call me the captain. All right, well, maybe we can start working on fabricating some more upgrades. Maybe we could do that. There's a depth module that I could make. I think I have three rubies, but I'm not sure. One of you guys have them. There's one ruby. No, there's all silver in that one. And Dank Bro's got all of the batteries. Thanks for taking care of the battery problem there, Dank Bro. I'm gonna put lithium in here. Oh, along with my ion cubes. Awesome. Do I have aerogel? How did I make that? Okay, well, cool. I have aerogel. <laughs> Didn't know I did, but I guess I do. You start binging this game and you start picking up things you don't even remember that you grabbed. <laughs> Give me another radio call. I need so I need to know what I'm doing. I need to know. <laughs> call me. I'm so lonely. <laughs> I'm so lonely. Okay. Well, I'm not heading to the other side of the Aurora because we know that's bad. We already know that. <laughs> is there a. Is it even moving? Or is it stuck? Okay, it is moving. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for the waste there. I just thought it was funny that it was completely above the surface. All right. Well, we can't head north or I guess east past the Aurora because there's a. I know there's a, a reaper on the other side of it, a, a reaper leviathan, so we're not going to head over there. I just don't know where we should go. Ooh, this place looks cool. So I've just been exploring for the past couple of minutes, kind of just kind of, uh, you know, heading as far out as I feel like would be good. And this feels about right. It's a new area-ish, so... We'll go ahead and explore here until another radio call comes in. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Drop me in. It's like a bunch of... Like a bunch of mushrooms. Ooh, who was that? You're new. You look new. I haven't seen you before. What are you? What are you? I guess you're nothing. You're just a... Ooh, tree leech. That sounds bad. Do you only eat trees? Because I don't want you getting stuck on me. Parasitic fungus-like growth found attached to other life forms. Get away from me. 
An enzyme is released by the organism which dissolves a hole in the skin of the host from which it leaches nutrients directly. Outer tooth line jaw serves no identified purpose, may be used during a different stage of the organism, organism's life cycle. Assessment, exploitable fungi, fung, God, exploitable fungal enzymes. So if I cut it, does it give me something? Did it give me something? It didn't give me anything. All right, so that doesn't work. So let's keep going down, I guess. What's hurting me? What is that? Oh God. Okay, so in that video that I told you guys about the uh, real episode nine, the one that didn't get fully filmed correctly, these were the things that were attacking me inside the ship and I had no idea what they were. So leave it in the comment section, whatever the hell that thing is. I'll get a better view it. Oh, it's just eating on stuff. It's mean. It's a mean bitch. <laughs> this is a open area. I've never been over here, so what's up? It's a ball. Oh, please don't. Okay, I don't see anything that looks scary over here. Can I scan you? No. Oh God, what? what is that? Oh, there's more of them. Get back in the peacemaker. I only come in peace. Unless you're a gasopod, then we have issues. <laughs> I don't know what the hell those are. It's like an electric eel. You got it. You got it. You got it. Can they hurt me? Oh, I hope they can't hurt me. Do I have any water? Of course I don't have any water. Gotta head back to the Atlas. Or somewhere where I can get water. Ooh, look, a cave system. Can I find some salt, maybe? In here? Any salt? Any salty bros? I need the salt. I need all of it. So much salt. I see shale, but I don't need shale right now. I need salt. Ouch. Sorry. Sorry, ship. Well, there's salt, but I can't grab it that way, I don't think. Pretty sure I can't. There's some salt. Ah, 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 oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, oh, fuck me. Ow. Ah, 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 I'm stuck. Get away. Ooh, this thing is about to break. Don't you break my peacemaker. Okay, not freaking out. I'm fine. Totally fine. Just gotta repair this and we're good. Ugh. That was a scary situation, getting stuck like that. Ugh. Maybe I left something over here. Hopefully I did, because, like I said, I have no idea where I'm gonna find water over here. I don't even see any coral tubes. Is there anything in here? Oh my god! It is the mother load! How did I... <laughs> We're gonna take all of these. <laughs> I'm gonna take all of this stuff. I don't even know why it's out here in the middle of nowhere in a random sea base I made on my other playthrough. <laughs> That's funny! I was so worried. I was definitely worried. Where's the atlas? That could not have worked out better for me. <laughs> Come on, though. I need another phone call. I need somebody to talk to me. Tell me what I'm doing. Oops. All right, so I've taken a little bit of time to just put some, put some things away so I have more inventory and, you know, get some water. I don't have a food option yet, but I have my knife on me, so if it, if it comes down to it, I can just cut a little small fish out but I want to explore this area some more because if there's something hostile I have a feeling there's important stuff over here too there's our buddy the sand or the stalkers so guess I'm just kind of looking around for stuff some limestone. 
I'm really just more worried about something big coming out and getting me. Can't be positive about it, but I think I just heard a reaper. I definitely hear one. I don't know how far it is in this direction, but I definitely do not want to go that way. <laughs> oh, that just sounds terrifying all the time now. Now that I know what they look like, I do not want to deal with a reaper. <laughs> Let's just hope it's not in this direction. Hey, look, bladderfish. I haven't seen you guys in a while. Okay, so this is definitely a stalker biome. It's basically like another uh, creep vine forest, so... I don't think we need to do too much with that. I'm gonna grab a lot more salt, because... I'm starting to believe that salt is the most important thing. Besides... Ooh, what is this? Is that just another mobile vehicle bay part? I'm starting to realize that salt is your best friend, because in the deeper biomes, I don't see bladderfish at all. At least it's daylight, so we'll go this way and see if we still hear a, a reaper. You guys keep an ear out, but I think I just went backwards. Okay, never mind. No, that can't be right, because I know that wasn't the direction I was taking before. So let's go this way. Ugh. The hell is that thing? What hit me? What hurt me? Okay, well something smacked me and I don't know what it was. I don't like the games it's playing. We're playing tag with my peacemaker. Especially if you're electrical. Your whole body's covered in spikes that send out electrical shocks. I don't want that. Ooh, this looks deep. How deep can I go? I mean, I got 900 meters and I haven't even used it yet. Not even close. I hear that reaper again. Is it this way? I don't know, but I'm pretty deep. Oh, another big ship. Maybe I could find something in it. Don't mind me, guys. Uh, 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 uh. Don't mind me. I'm just... Can you even hurt my ship? No. You just killed yourself. You just exploded your face on my windshield. Now I'm going to have to get out and clean it. Why did the music change? Does it know where I am? Is this the music that plays when a reaper knows where you are? Really just hoping that was just for effect. Okay, so we're stupid fucking deep at this point. <laughs> I have never been this deep in the game before, so... Okay, there's the Reaper. Alright, so we can't go that way. We cannot go keep going north. Shit. Alright, so we'll head south. If we can go around it. I don't know. I'm hoping we can. Ah, it's like they're everywhere where <laughs> I'm trying to explore and I can't because of them. <laughs> Stupid assholes. Are we back at the alien base? No wonder there's a reaper over here. Somehow we made it back over here. All right. Well, that's cool. At least I know where I am now. So hey, if I keep heading west. Keep an eye out, guys, because I don't know where it is. <laughs> ah. Okay, so there's a lot of whatever those things are. Oh, creepy. Ah! Oh, God, it was just a fish hitting the boat. If I keep going deeper, 
I think I got away from the... Oh, God! I think I got away from the the Reaper Leviathan. What is that? Is that a good hole? Bad hole? Ah, bad hole! Okay. This is cool and all, but I have no idea where I am. Ooh, there's so many of those things. Go away. Go away. Oh, I'm getting surrounded by them. What is this? It's a big giant mountain. How far am I away from Port Weenie Hut? So far, I can't even see it. 844 meters? That's not too far. What? Ooh, what? It's like a big floating platform. That's cool. Ooh, with things in it. Little cave holes. I'm not sure if I want to deal with that. Okay, so this is pretty exciting and nerve-wracking because... I have no idea what's over here. Like I said, first time. First time explorer. Nobody kill me. I'm not trying to get eaten. I'm just trying to know what else is in this beautiful and dangerous planet. 1,400 meters away from Port Weenie Hut. This looks like a super deep area. How deep can I go? Is it bad that I'm just getting, like, really concerned at what might be at the bottom of this? Warning. Entering ecological death zone. Adding report to data bank. Crater edge. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa! What the hell is that thing? Don't bite me! Oh! Glad I didn't take too long to read whatever the hell that thing is. Still behind me? Oh! Okay. Not dealing with the crater's edge for a long time till one of y'all tells me what that thing was and if it's bad, good, I don't know. Either way, it was big and it was scary. Watch I ran away from something that was like the, the deep depth version of a reef back. Oh. Oh, I'm not even worried about you now, dude. I could easily outrun you. All right, well, that's cool and all. Still no phone call. Kind of annoying. Kind of annoyed about that. I kind of really wish that they would have given me something else to do for this episode. But, I, you know, we, we discovered... We've the, the deepest we've ever gone, right? So we, <laughs> it's not a complete bust. We know there's something seriously deep, and it said Leviathan class, so I'm not dealing with that. But they also said that the reef back was part of the Leviathan class, and it, it's completely docile, so... Ooh, there's a cave. There's a cave in here. Let's explore, guys. Sorry. Any dangerous creatures in here? Because uh, this is a really hard to turn around in here. Really tight. Really tight in here. Oh, please don't tell me the other end goes out to like <laughs> a Leviathan cave opening. Because I hear it. It sounds so close. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get lost in here. But at least we're in the Peacemaker, so I won't have to worry about breathing. Okay. I'm officially lost in this cave. Remember how I said I hope that doesn't happen? Yeah, it happened. Okay, so I finally found my way out of that cave, and damn did it take forever. But that's pretty much all the time that I got, guys. We didn't make a lot of progress in this episode because, you know, we never got a radio call, but we... We made it the deepest that we've ever gotten. We saw a couple of new fish. I, you know, I'm still happy with that. I am still happy with, you know, seeing some new stuff. At least it's not a complete waste where nothing was new at all. So that works. I found some new areas that I know I'll never want to visit again until we 
we have better stuff equipped for it. But I guess we'll go ahead, head back home to Port Weenie Hut until I guess we get a radio call. So till that happens, I'll, I'll bet, I guess I'll just do some personal playthrough stuff and find some more goodies and hopefully get the prawn suit in the next episode so that we'll be able to, you know, see whatever that thing does. So yeah, I think that's gonna, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. If you like what you saw, please give me a like and a comment. Do something that subscribe button, something ignore it. Tell your buddies that I'm playing Subnautica and that I'm getting, you know, I'm inching my way. I'm, I'm like a little worm making my way or maybe a caterpillar. Caterpillar is a better, better analogy. I'm a caterpillar making my way to my chrysalis and I'm gonna eventually be a beautiful butterfly with awesome, <laughs> awesome swimming tech and uh, super awesome uh, base and stuff like that. And as always, I will see you in the next episode. That's all I got for you guys. Peace. Um, what the fuck is that? Okay, that's definitely for next episode. Oh shit. Yeah, I'd be hesitant to interact with it too. Ah! Oh god! Oh, hello! Hi! Oh no! Oh! Right now, music, okay? <laughs> we are in a very perilous situation. Oh, he's coming so fast! Moby, I didn't mean it, buddy! Oh!